Moonstar! Honey Wish ran up to her leader, her fur still ruffled from wrestling in the training ground with Briarstock and Squirrel Leap. There you are. I wanted to talk to you about leaving camp to patrol. Uh, leave camp? Lionstar looked up in surprise. Why would we want to leave camp? The kids are due any moment now. Yes, I know. Honey Wish meowed, the reminder flattening her good mood. But that isn't going to matter to any cat roaming along the edges of our territory. I think we should send a patrol down to the Odd Herb Two Leg Place, for starters, and put down some scent markers so we can begin to claim it as part of our own territory. Oh. Lionstar turned his head, obviously conflicted. That is a good idea, Honey Wish. Of course. Just, well, I really wanted to be here for when the kids are born. Would you mind leading the patrol this time? Fine, Honeywish spat. She stood and stalked away from her leader, her fur rising with suppressed emotion. He didn't have to throw it in her face all the time. Moss leaf this, kits that. Honeywish jumped as Briarstalk walked out of the shadows towards her. Did he like the idea? Briarstalk meowed. Who knows? Those kits of hers are more concerned to him right now, Honeywish meowed, unable to keep the bitterness from her voice. Briarstalk wavered, clearly uncomfortable, then gently pressed his flank against Honeywish. Oh, well, it is their first litter. Don't worry, I'm sure he'll focus more on leadership after they have even more kits. To his surprise, Honeywish let out a pained gasp at his comforting words and then dashed off into the bushes. And welcome back, everyone! So here we have Briarstock greeting his leader, Lionstar, which is actually something that he wanted to do, and I thought that was pretty cool. Briarstock is turning into quite the, um, quite the warrior. I'm really proud of how he settled in. He works so hard to keep the prey pile, like, filled up. It looks like he wants to socialize and sift with Crowfeather, so maybe pull the younger cat under his wing, too. So Crowfeather will basically be having a mentor in both Lionstar and Briarstock, which would be fantastic. Uh, Crow Feather currently has a hairball, apparently. Apparently he was grooming himself too much. But yes, yeah, so we are back in the Moss Clan. And there's Honeywish taking a little snooze. And she was meeting with Lion Star earlier today on the hope that Lion Star will actually let her lead a patrol. And she wanted him to come with her because she thought it would be really fun to be able to go on a patrol together. But she wants to lead a patrol out from their main camp territory and start putting down territory markers in surrounding areas and other lots. And that is something that we will definitely be doing with our cats so like here's branch clan and both the clans will be spreading their territory markers through different lots and so we'll know in the future okay like branch clan might start to claim this lot and this lot but this lot's also very very close to where moss clan is so this might be an area and this is a pretty good area you know you've got we've got quite a bit going on here there's lots of seeds there's lots of trees there's probably a lot of prey items as you can see here some more of the flowers so that they constantly need to be finding to give to Willow so that Willow can give them um, all sorts of useful items that the medicine cats can use. So flowers that are important for them. But it's very close to where Branch Clan is. Ooh, and there's even seeds over here. And this is an unknown rare seed. And we can probably use those kind of rare seeds in future medicine cat things, even if we don't know what the seed might be for. It could still be like an unknown rare seed. We could use it in a mixture that helps bring a cat's health back up or helps them recover from a disease. Bear leaf is coming and green cough and white cough do go through the cat clans pretty often. So yeah, like this seed, because it's past this marker though, might be considered to be in branch clan territory. So it would be very interesting to see if the cats would risk crossing the territory marker and what happens if they run into another cat or their scent is picked up and then a fight breaks out. We're going to have all sorts of interesting things going on. Plus, don't forget Thunderpath is over here. So we would be worried about that. Ooh, and there's a stray two-legger. What are you doing here, Two Leg? He's like wearing a crocodile outfit. He's a mixologist. Who even knows why he's here? And there's the, the special ores and minerals. And those might be very, very important to Branch Clan because giving special metals and gemstones to Slate, their spirit of the land, gives them fish. So it directly helps feed them. So it's interesting because the two spirits of the land do different things for both clans. One helps provide lots of healing items, lots of special plants that might be able to do something for them. And the other provides actual fish and food which could help them get through lean times. So yeah, this is really interesting. And this is the weird odd herb place with all these odd herbs that uh, Honeywish actually wants to lead a patrol down to, or she wanted Lionstar to, and he refused to go because he wants to stay near Mossleaf because her kittens are due any minute. Her kittens are due any minute. Huzzah! 
oh my gosh, you guys, this is going to be so exciting. But she wanted to come down here and put territory markers down so that they could claim this as uh, one of the Moss Clan's territory. <gasps> is that a dog? Oh my gosh, it's a wolf. You guys, it's a wolf. Oh my gosh. So this is one of the wild wolves and getting in a fight with these guys is almost always like 75% of the time would be like death for a cat maybe. I still have to figure out how the random generators are going to go and don't worry I will let you guys know I'll probably even make a special video explaining how they work and where to find them for when we get in fights with the wolves but oh my gosh I can't believe there's a wolf near their territory. What are we going to do about that? Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's going to be very interesting, guys. So, wild wolf in their territory. We need to put some territorial markers down. We need to do, like, some stalking. Doesn't this field... Oh, if I could add some trees and bushes into this field, this looks like it would be a perfect place maybe to rustle around in the leaf, like, leaf litter and hopefully find, like, some more prey items. But yes, so Lion Star is not really willing to leave the camp just yet because his kits are due any minute now. He and Moss Leaf are expecting their first litter. Moss Leaf is wandering over. So she wants to come over. Oh, she wants to sniff branch stock too. So let's let her go ahead and do that. But yeah, I think the prey pile is empty. So wait, no, no. I see a turtle. <gasps> there's a turtle. Yay. Okay. So there's like one turtle, but I think anybody who can needs to start hunting. And just so you guys know, we have set up the nursery. So we've put in a whole bunch more moss beds into the nursery. We have added some clovers in, some more flowers. We've made sure that there's a bush kind of where the, there was a hole back here and the bush is now keeping the hole plugged up. And now we have the little nursery next to the medicine cat den. So here's our medicine cat den for Doge's. Here's the nursery. I might move in one of the tree cat condos for Doge's into her medicine cat den. And yeah, so I think we might have um, Honeywish lead a patrol out after she takes a nap. So she does want to become best friends with Briarstock and she actually wants to groom Briarstock and she wants to chase Lionstar. If nothing else, I think that's just so that she can try to get him to like get out of camp with her for a little while, spend some time like they've always spent time together growing up and now he's just kind of like distracted with his, his new mate and she just doesn't know how to handle it. So oh, we'll have to see how this goes. All right, come along, Mossleaf, come along. She's been carrying those kits forever. I am ready for her just to like pop any second now. I have no idea when she's actually do going to either. So, all right, and let's send Briarstock over. Um, it looks like Crow Feather is over here. Let's scratch here. Crow Feather, he's throwing up. All these cats are getting hairballs. <gasps> we should have like honey. We should get honey as one of the items since we can actually get honey from Willow. Sorry guys, I know I'm talking so much, but let me just show you. So I almost forgot Willow can actually now give the cats honey because we have this little bee box. So we'll have to have Willow give the cats some honey in exchange for the flowers that they help her collect. And then if a cat has a hairball in the future, we can get rid of it that way. That is such an awesome idea. All right, and we're, we're probably going to set it up so in the future, also Willow needs to photosynthesize. She's gonna dry out. Willow, Willow, photosynthesize and get to feeling better. There we go. But yeah, in the future, whenever a cat has an issue, they're gonna need to come over and talk to Doge's. And then after that, we'll be able to use the item to get rid of their fleas or get rid of their hairballs or help them heal up, whatever it's gonna be. All right, Lion Star, you stay over here because I know you're gonna wanna stay near Moss Leaf Briar Stock. I already sent you away and Moss Leaf wanted to sniff you. Well, fooey on that. And Moss Leaf wants to eat the fish. Did somebody else already eat a fish? I think somebody else already ate her fish. So I'm going to let her nap in here. And we're going to have Lion Star, since he's so distracted taking care of her, go ahead and go fishing. All right. And enough dilly dallying. We're going to see if these kittens are going to be born into the Moss Clan today. They are the first litter of kittens. Oh, look at her. Look at her hiding the little bush. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh, I hear Lion Star. <gasps> oh my goodness, you guys, look. Two new kitties now reside in the Branch Clan household. Otter Slip gave birth to Quail Eyes Litter. Oh my gosh. There's two cats over there. So the kittens were just born at Branch Clan. Oh my goodness. That's going to be very exciting. Lion Star, are you having any luck down there? I don't think he ended up getting any fish. All right, why don't you go ahead and try again? Because she wants to eat fish, so I have a feeling he would keep diving back in. I'm surprised she's not craving lizard, because she really enjoys lizards. 
But hey, we're not gonna question whatever the, the queen may be craving. And queen refers to a pregnant cat, by the way, or a cat with kittens. So pretty much, oh my goodness. Tell me the wolf is not like getting close to us. Let's make sure he's not like coming up to the territory markers because that would be, that would be bad news, my friends. No, I don't see him. Ooh, and Fern Creek just caught a beetle. All right. And then let's see, where's Fern Creek? Oh, is she off? She oh, she's getting nuzzled by Squirrel Ape. Squirrel Ape just can't seem to make up her mind on if she's gonna harass her or be friends with some of her uh, clan mates. All right, so Fern Creek seems really good at catching beetles, and we had decided that she's also very good at catching spiders and things like that to help out when it comes to um, taking care of things that the medicine cat needs. Actually, so that's been pretty fun. She might get a really good relationship with Doges, and Squirrel Ape is just like running all over the place. She's she just cracks me up. All right, Squirrelly, go ahead, pee here. And I think Fern Creek would just do a lot of hunting on her own. If she wants to catch a turtle. Probably a lot of hunting on her own just to kind of like get the wiggles out because she's, she's sort of cranky at like all the other cats telling her what to do. All right. And let's go ahead. Moss leaf, moss leaf. <gasps> moss leaf! Moss leaf's having the kittens! Moss leaf's having the kittens! Oh my gosh, and there's spiders over here. Okay, we need to catch those. Oh my gosh, you guys. Moss leaf is having her kittens. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Where is she going? Where is she going? There's a turtle that Lion Star is like trying to go off and catch for her or something. Mossleaf, where are you going? Where are you going for these little kittens? Willow, why aren't you wearing your normal outfit? Here, Willow, put on your everyday. Oh boy. Is she coming over to Willow? Is she bringing herself to Willow like instinctually? Oh my gosh, Mossleaf is off to have the babies! Come on, Mossleaf! She's coming over to see to see Willow, I think. Willow! Yeah, Willow, there's gonna be kittens! Willow! Oh my goodness! Or a kitten? There could be there could be anywhere from one to four. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. No, where is she? Mossleaf! Mossleaf, 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 Mossleaf! You're gonna be a mom! Mossleaf, any second now! You're gonna have kittens. Okay, this is very exciting. Okay. Oh dear. Where's Doge's? We need Doge's over here. Doge's! Get yourself over here. There's gonna be either a kitten or kittens. Oh, oh. <gasps> oh my gosh! You guys! <laughs> oh my gosh! Look at them! They're like Lion Star and 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 then the moss leaves like Lion Star's coloring and the moss leaves green touch. What does it mean to have kittens with a touch of green? Oh my goodness! You're kidding me! You guys, look at them! Look at them! We've got a fluff bucket here. And he has moss leaves markings. They've both got moss leaves markings. Look at this. He's got his mother's face and he's got the, the green markings. They don't have any of the other gr Wait, I think he had vaguely has a green marking. No, maybe that's just shadowing. And then there's a, a skinny kitty. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at the kittens that they have just had. I can't believe this. Moss leaf, congratulations. Congratulations, where are your babies going? They're so cute. They're just running around like first thing. They're going straight to the nursery, actually. Lion Star, you just had kittens. Okay, so we have this little one. It is a little boy. He is adventurous and independent. And he has the green mask that Mossleaf has. So they carry some of the four spirit magic in their blood. What is that going to mean? I guess one of these two have to be like the forest spirit. Oh my gosh. There's kittens. There's kittens! All right, so an adventurous, fluffy little boy who looks just like his dad. Oh my gosh, except for his mom's markings. And then we have got a, another little boy. They're two boys, a neat and lazy little guy. Look at him. Look at how cute he is. Oh my gosh, I don't even, what are we gonna do, Mossleaf? What do you wanna do? Do you wanna, do you wanna hang out with your babies? All right, she wants to sniff. All right, and they don't have names yet. It's just kitten one and kitten two. So I think she would have forgotten about the fish and everything else in 
in the fact oh and look at this she wants to be best friends with honey wish moss clan <gasps> she wants to be best friends with honey wish we might put that down oh my goodness oh my goodness okay there's new kittens there are new kittens in the family and and she just had her two babies and this is amazing. So yeah. Oh my gosh. And Squirrel Leap's coming over to nuzzle one kitten. And where's the other kitten? He's already run off. Like living up to this adventurous name. Where the heck are you, little guy? There you are. Jeez Louise. All right. And Moss Leaf wants to sniff him. So we're going to send her over here. The first babies of Moss Clan are born. This is a huge deal. This is fantastic. This is amazing. This is wonderful. And they look so much like their dad. I was not expecting that. So we have a neat and lazy little guy back here. And look, Dogaze is over here. Oh my gosh. So let's let Dogaze go ahead and sniff everybody over. Dogaze does want to sniff everybody over. Look, she wants to sniff the kittens. Okay, let's come over, sniff. Let's come over, sniff. We've got new babies to meet and greet. Be best friends with kitten too. Okay, I think, I'm sorry, honey wish. She thought about you briefly and then she wants to groom kitten wine. Okay, I think that poor Moss Leaf is just like all over the place. She's enamored with her babies. Lion Star, Lion Star, come over here. We're all just gonna hang out in Willow's little area for a while. Willow, meanwhile, you tend your garden because it's like dying. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. And she wants to sniff the other kitten. All the kittens are just around to sniff. Oh, look, she wants to be best friends with the other kitten. Okay, wait, let's go sniff. Let's sniff this kitten. And then we'll let you go eat. Oh, I shouldn't have canceled that because once a cat wants to eat a prey item. Oh, okay, that's my bad. Oh. Lion Star, look, you have babies. He wants to play with his kittens. Oh my goodness, yes. Visit the park. Oh, he wants to sniff his kittens. He wants to play with his kittens. This is wonderful. So everybody is meeting. Oh my goodness. And they were born at Willow's feet, basically. So Dogaze, what do you think? I think this is fantastic. Oh, he's so happy. He wants to talk with Kitten 2. He wants to playfully chase Kitten 2. He wants to playfully chase this kitten. Like, everybody just wants to play and, and interact with the kittens. So let's try goofing around. We're just going to let the happy family be. And we'll have to see if the other cats want to interact with them. Squirrel Leaf wants to come and sniff the kittens. So the whole clan is actually really coming out like in excitement for the kittens. There we go. And then is this kitten one or two? This is kitten two. But Moss Leaf is just all over wanting to like snuggle them and groom them and socialize them. So we're going to let her go ahead and work on those things. Squirrel Leaf, I think since you have so much energy that you can go and pounce Dogaze, you're going to be sent off to do a little bit of stalking for food. And then, let's see. Fern Creek! <laughs> Fern Creek's not so interested in the kittens. That's fine. Briarstock wants to sniff... Oh, he wants to sniff the kittens. Okay, we can send him over to maybe work on that a little bit. So, Briarstock, you can come on over. Then we need to get the hunters, like, out hunting. All right, so meanwhile, Lion Star is goofing around with one of his babies. What about Honey Wish? What does she want to do? Present a gift to Moss Leaf. Maybe she's trying to fight. I think that's Honey Wish's way of trying to like fight down her agitation and her her feelings, her not so generous feelings that she has every now and then. So I think we'll go ahead and we'll let her do a little bit of hunting and then present a gift to Moss Leaf. So let's come over here, stock for prey. This is amazing. Crow feather. Everybody stock for prey because we're out of food and we have new we have new mouths to feed. All right. Meanwhile, Briar stock, you run over because Dogaze is going to want. Oh, Dogaze is trying to catch the spider, actually. So she's already thinking about stocking up. Oh, and she wants to become best friends with Squirrel Leap. What? She really wants to, like, become friends with Squirrel Leap. Squirrel Leap, you don't have the attention span to be a medicine cat, do you? All right. And Squirrel Leap wants to sniff everybody. So Briar stock, you go ahead and you come over here then. And we'll let you get sniffed. Oh, look at the happy parents. Look at them. So Moss Leaf is busy grooming them. Lion Star's over here. He wants to playfully chase with them. He wants to be best friends. Let's see. He really wants to meet his other kitten. So we might swap kittens. We might come over here. Friendly, sniff, and Moss Leaf. Why don't you go ahead? Because she wants to come over and she wants to groom kitten one. So she wants to groom both her kittens. 
And Moss Leaf, as soon as one of the cats finds something prey-wise, we'll feed it to you and the kittens. Because that's the rules. The queens and the kits are the first ones to get fed. Oh, this is so fun. And meanwhile, Willow is just like nurturing the garden around them. I think that's really... Oh, Doggies didn't catch anything. I think that's really interesting that all the cats like came over and... Oh my gosh, look, 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 look. This is just so fun. I love how the parents already want to bond with their kids. All right, and the kittens, they meanwhile don't have any of those urges straight off the bat. Can you groom your kitten? Oh, he's rejecting you? You've got a sassy butt here. You go ahead and you're going to tell him what for. He's going to listen to his mom and get groomed by his mom. So kitten one's a little sassy. Kitten two doesn't appear to care. And meanwhile, Lion Star just wants to like play with his kittens and chase them around. And he's in love with them. All right, and Squirrelip has just improved our hunting skill. Lionstar, you probably need to go do some hunting, actually, after you finish bonding with your child. Because we need to really add some more food. <laughs> and meanwhile, Fern Creek is just, like, over here with Briarstock. Briarstock might be... They're kind of laying down together. So I wonder if he was trying to say, Hey, so there's kittens in the clan now. Maybe we could have some of our own. Because I get the idea that Briarstock isn't like the most maternal cat in the world, but she wouldn't be terribly against the idea. Just she's still trying to figure out if she wants to settle into the Moss Clan anyway. All right, Dogaze, how are you doing? Ah, uh, dang it. We've just got a bunch of like, uh, come on, Stock for Prey. Squirrely, where's Briarstock? Oh, he already came all the way back over here. Briarstock, you were not being helpful. All right, meanwhile, be friends with Dogaze. Squirrelly is almost wanting to try fishing, it seems. All right. And meanwhile, Lion Star wasn't able to get Kitten Chew to let him playfully chase him. But that's okay, because we've got a lot of um, food that we need to get. So let's go ahead and stock for prey. All right, Kitten number two, you be good. Oh, and meanwhile, Kitten number one is proving to be sassy. And then we've just got a bunch of snake skins. We're not getting any food whatsoever for the kits. So, oh my gosh. Um, goof around. I think that I think that she would just sass him out once again. Socialize and be like, that's not how we behave, son. All right, who missed the food? Was it Honeywish? Honeywish wants to actually go and socialize with the kittens. So interesting. We're gonna have to see how this goes. Whew. But all right, you guys, we have had the kittens be born into the clan, and that means more mouths to feed. So we need to scurry around and we will have to get the clan set up. We might spend one more day here with the Moss Clan, just seeing how they get set up, just seeing and making sure we can feed everybody because now we desperately need to make sure that there's enough food. Oh, look, there's a lizard. Yay. Hopefully we can give it to Moss Leaf because she loves lizards. Ooh, is that a rare iguana? Come on, Lion Star, come on. We're gonna wait and see if you can catch it. And we're gonna have to see how the cats react after the excitement of the kitten's birth is over to the fact that both cats have very distinctive green markings around their face, unlike any other cats before them. And there we go. Lion Star has just caught himself a wonderful iguana that we can feed to Moss Leaf because I think she's the most hungry. And she just kind of gave birth to kittens. So we're going to go ahead and feed her. And her whole mind has turned mostly to her kittens. Totally understandable. It's going to be really interesting to see where we go from here. We'll try to keep them all in the nursery. We'll try to see how everything goes. But yeah, you guys, I did not expect them to end up with these bright, bright, bright green markings markings on their faces. So we're going to really have to think about how the cats will interpret that. They're excited about the birth of the kittens now, but what does it mean that the kittens have these tremendously strong indicators of forest magic in their blood? So, hmm, we're going to have to figure that out and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.